Welcome to INC Live Update. I'm Richie Ferrer coming to you from Jersey City, New Jersey, where this new house of worship was de just dedicated by our executive minister, none other than our brother Eduardo V. Manalo. And as you can see behind me, the brethren are still reeling with so much energy. They feel the blessings of this great event. But you know what? I think we need to let our brethren speak for themselves. And let's meet some of the brethren here from this area of the town. Um, sister, what was your name? I'm Sister Felma Izar. And what local congregation are you from? I'm from the local congregation of Jersey City. Awesome, awesome. Now, how does it feel that the executive minister came all the way here to see the brethren here, not only here, but throughout the whole district? This is a feeling that no one can really explain. For years we've been waiting for this, to have our own house of worship, and to have Brother Eduardo V. Manalo with us, and Brother Eduardo V. Manalo, we love you so much. Brother, what was your name, Paul? Uh, brother Jun from Leto, Paul. Nice I'm, to meet you. Well, you and you're from? From Jersey City, local of Jersey City. Nice, perfect. What was your name, brother? Brother Fermin Yalong, local of Jersey City. So you've been here for many years already? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. brother. Do you remember the years where you didn't have a chapel to worship in? Of course. That was that was uh, not the hard the hard days, but, you know, it's worth it. Time. Yeah, yeah we, very we, challenging. For, for the folks who don't know the difference between having a chapel and having to conduct a worship service at a different venue, yeah. what are the type of things you have to do to prepare every single worship service? Uh, uh, we, we have to set up all the chairs, all the, the podium, and every worship service, yeah. and every time. And, uh, and now this, uh, we have a big difference in the house, of course, and now yeah. it's a big Thank change God. for us. So yeah. how does it feel? You don't have to set that up anymore. How does it feel? No, it, it feels, it feels uh, great. And uh, thank God for that. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Sister, what part of the district are you from? Forest Hills, New York. Oh, hi. What local are you from, sister? I'm from Elizabeth, New Jersey, Paul. That's Elizabeth, New Jersey. Brother, what was your name? Brother Charles. Brother Charles. What was your name, sister? I'm Sister Joe Morales. What local congregation are you both from? Jersey City. Jersey, Jersey City. City. We can see the brethren are not just from Jersey City. They're from all over town. Elizabeth and all over Northeastern Seaboard. How do you feel? How do you feel that you're not alone, but they're here to support you and the congregation in this part of, of the district? Well, it feels great to know that, you know, that we're all united in our brotherhood. We know that whenever one chapel is erected, it is for the benefit of the entire church. And so to see that the rest of our brothers and sisters inside of the district will be able to come down here for this momentous occasion is very heartwarming. And when the other congregations have big events or they have a chapel dedication, what does this make you feel like doing when they have their moment like this? I, I feel very happy and very grateful for all the support of the brethren. And it shows that we are very united, not just the brethren, but we are reunited with the church administration. Thank you so much and congratulations again. And as you can see, in this part of the world, the church is growing. Remember two weeks ago, we were in Texas, specifically in Lubbock, where we had a chapel dedication. Let's go back and see how they're doing. Last week, as part of the INC Giving Project, the brethren showed their appreciation to the local police station and dropped up thank you cards and gifts to the handful of police officers that helped maintain the peacefulness during the dedication of the house of worship. And today, police officers and neighbors alike were invited and attended the special grand opening celebration where they were given a chapel tour of the new house of worship. Stay tuned on the INC Giving Show for the full story. We can see the growth of the church, not only here in Jersey City, New Jersey, or in Lubbock, Texas. Let's go all the way to Madagascar, just outside of Africa, and see how strong the missionary work is over there. Minister of the Gospel, Brother Marvin Adriano, assigned to the Ecclesiastical District of Northern Europe, has been conducting Bible studies in French via Webex every Friday. But recently, he went to Madagascar and held Bible studies in person. For two weeks, he held Bible studies every day, three times a day, except on Sundays, to keep up with the hunger of the people there to learn about the teachings of the Igleshni Christo. Stay tuned on INC Review for the full story. That's it for this edition of INC Live Update. Thank you so much. And on behalf of not only the INC Live Update team, but the members of the local of... Thank you.
thank you so much for joining us. We're going to see you next time. Eduardo, I would just like to say thank you for coming here and being able to officiate the, the dedication of the House of Worship of Jersey City. We love you, Brother Eduardo. We're very excited. Thank you so much for the uh, big blessing in Jersey City. I can describe how I feel because um, especially since I'm from the local Jersey City it's been such a great blessing to know that Colorado visited us. From the Kadiwas of Jersey City thank you for visiting us. We, we love, love you Paul Eduardo. We are one with EBM. <laughs> Thank you, Paul Gard Wardo, for visiting us, and we love you, Paul.